today we are going to look at several coats and then these styles of outfits that I think go the best with these coats. Some of them are a little bit more versatile than others and I think you guys will probably really enjoy this since you wanted some more winter content. So if you're new around here, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel and if you have time, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell and also please give me a thumbs up if any of you love this video and want to see more content like this. And also leave me a comment on what your favorite coat was in this video and maybe what you love to wear. I also want you to know that there are some things in this video that I am going to create other videos on. Two of them are a midi skirt and a loafer. So I'm gonna do style videos on both of those for you. And then I really wanna do a review video on some of these coats that I found and some other things because they were actually really good value and actually pretty nice for their value. So look for those and also let me know if you like content that kind of ties together like that and want to see more of it because I plan on doing that in the coming year. The first coat I want to take a look at is a camel coat. And this one is not your midi or maxi length. It comes just probably to the top of your thigh, depending on how tall you are. I'm 5'4", just for reference for you, as you see me in this coat. But I really loved the color of this. I thought it was beautiful. And I'm calling this more of a dress coat because I really think that this is good if you get a little bit dressier. I don't see this with active wear or outfits with sneakers and things like that. I really think it's good for casual to smart casual to uh, semi dressy outfits and the first one i want to show you which you're going to see this outfit in this video throughout with all of these coats because i just wanted to give you an idea of how this looked with a dressier outfit so i have this cashmere turtleneck sweater on tucked in this beautiful midi skirt and my tall boots and so I really thought a coat like this would be wonderful with this outfit because I think you could wear this professionally or you could wear it dressed up to dinner. And I wanted to show you a comparison here because I also put this outfit with a camel blazer. And I think if you are in really cold weather, a blazer is not the easiest thing to put underneath a coat. Now, if you have an oversized coat that's really straight, you could absolutely do that. But with a coat like this, you really, you know, you want to cinch it in in the waist because it just has such beautiful shape. And I think it can take the place of your blazer. I think you could keep this on. You could wear it open and put the tie in the back. And you have a lot of options here. And I do think if it is something that you wanted to keep on and not take off, that this would be a great way to go because it kind of mimics that blazer look. But I thought it was beautiful and I love the camel color. And if you don't like camel, this did come in all kinds of different colors. I would also love this in black or ivory. And the camel I think is fun and I think it's something different and that is becoming very, very popular, but it's definitely not a must have if you are not a fan of camel. <laughs> And I did also put it with a denim outfit because I wanted to show you. It's a little bit more dressed up of an outfit. It has kind of a monochromatic look underneath here, except for with the polka dots. And I thought the coat looked really good as more of an accent or a contrasting piece here that is kind of the focal point that stands out as opposed to the other outfit. I think it just blended really well. So you can style it different ways and just really have fun with something like this. And I think this goes for a lot of different body shapes because it does cinch in the waist. So if you want to give yourself the illusion that you have a waist, I think this is good even if you wear it open. So wearing it open, it still has really good curves at the waist and it has a good A-line. So if you're pear shape, hourglass, probably even a smaller apple shape would work really well with this coat. This next coat is my absolute favorite coat and it's a pea coat in black. And the reason why I love this so much is because I think it's the most versatile out of all of these coats that I'm going to show you. And for some reason, I've always loved the classic style of a pea coat. It's a little bit preppy, but fun, and you can pair it with a lot of different styles of outfits. So the first outfit I wanted to show you was this pea coat just with some vintage straight jeans, which are very on trend right now, an oversized cardigan, which is also on trend. And I just layered a black kind of tissue 
t-shirt turtleneck underneath it and put on my loafers. And I love this outfit because this is something that I could wear in the moderately cold weather we have. So it's, you know, 50s, maybe 55, 60s some days, and sometimes it goes down into the 40s. But I thought this was great. And layering a coat like this over it just made it even cuter, I think. And so this coat can absolutely go with a lot of your more casual everyday outfits, but it will also go really well with your dressier outfits. So I wanted to show you the outfit from the very first part of the video with the turtleneck and the skirt and the boots. And I absolutely loved this combination. So I think if you have a pea coat that's like this, that will go with your outfits that are a little bit dressier, I think it works. And then it also works with casual. But I also wanted to show you this with more of a sport luxe look, which I did a video on sport luxe. If you want to check it out, I'll link it here. But sport luxe is just pairing some of your classic pieces with your athleisure pieces. And so that's what I did. I took my loafers with my leggings and a sweatshirt and a belt bag, and I put this coat over it. So I think it brings in that classic feel. And I think because I have the loafers on, this mixes really well with this outfit. I don't know that I would put this on with sneakers if I was trying to style an outfit, but I really think it went very well with that classic loafer and this kind of sport luxe look. And this is actually one of my favorite outfits of the video. So I also styled the outfit I have on in this video with this coat because I thought it was a really good option together. This outfit is, it's casual, but it's really put together. So I thought the classic feel of the pea coat went really well with the outfit. And I did want to give you a little tip if you want to layer pieces like this in your wardrobe, because what I did is I took an oversized button up shirt and put it underneath this sweatshirt. And I really wanted to show off the buttons. So I kind of flipped my hair to the other side and put the beret in so you could see that. But I also kind of rigged my shirt because the shirt was really long. And what I did is I took a belt and put it around my hips and then bloused the shirt over the belt so it would pull the hem up a little bit because you don't want six inches of your shirt hanging out. You just want a couple of inches, it being cute. And if you don't want it hanging out at all and want to tuck it in, that works as well. But I wanted to give you that tip in case you wanted to style an outfit like this, but just couldn't make the undershirt work. So now let's look at a long coat. And I think long coats are great. I don't think they are perfect for everyone, especially if you live in the South. You're probably not gonna wear it that often. And I thought I would love having a long coat. And honestly, I have worn this from my house to the mailbox and that's about it so far in, in my videos because I know a lot of people love long coats. And if you live in really cold weather, either a puffer coat or a long coat like this is going to be what you will choose. So I think you can wear this. If you get one that matches a lot of the colors in your closet, that's really neutral, um, maybe a black or a camel or an ivory that I think you could wear it with multiple things. And this one I have had trouble with putting with a lot of my casual outfits because one, I'm 5'4", and this can get a little bit overwhelming on you if you're a little bit shorter like I am. And so I feel more comfortable wearing heels with this. So any of my denim outfits or pant outfits with heels and you know, dressier outfits like skirts and dresses. But I do want to show you the first outfit that I put with this was the outfit from the beginning with the midi skirt. And I think I would love a skirt with this and even the length of this skirt, but it's a little bit too flowy, I think. So to me, I probably would not wear this. It's a little overwhelming. It's a little blousey and full and just is not the best look for me. And then you think of a maxi dress, if you have a long maxi dress, if that would look really good with a longer coat, I actually prefer those with a shorter coat because I'm shorter. But I did love this with an all ivory outfit that I put together, which is my ivory corduroys and a straight leg. So they're not skinny, they're still a little loose. And then an ivory sweater and my tan ankle boots. And I really love ivory and gray. It's a beautiful combination. So this was my favorite outfit, my number one pick for this coat. And I think that outfits that are similar to this would be great to wear underneath this, even if they're black or white or pink, whatever you wanted to choose. But I think longer pants and tops are a better option with something like this coat. But I know if you live in really cold weather, you're probably wearing your long coat with absolutely everything. And I think that is okay too. 
Now for puffer coats, and I think puffer coats are great. I think they're so warm and cozy, and I absolutely love mine, but they do not do very well for dressier outfits. So if you have a puffer coat, I suggest that you add on maybe something that you can wear if you ever need to get a little bit more dressed up, maybe a longer coat or the pea coat or even that camel coat, because you can find really good inexpensive options. And I will link all of these coats below for you. A lot of them are still available. So I really think that you have to think about what you're wearing and what coats would look best with those options. And puffer coats are one of those that I don't recommend wearing with your dressier options. So this one I wanted to show you, it's a black, little bit longer puffer coat, and it is a very thin puffer coat. I have a thicker one I'm gonna show you in a minute, but it still adds bulk. So you have to think about that. The puffier it is, the more bulky it's going to look, and I think the more casual it looks. This one I think has a really fun look to it. I think the length of it is just perfect and I have absolutely loved this. My husband actually ordered this when I was talking about coats because I would have never picked this for myself, but I absolutely love it. I put it on, I was like, this is perfect. And I styled it, of course, with the dressier outfit, with the midi skirt, and this is a no-no. You can see that these combinations don't even go together and it just, nothing it makes a whole outfit go flat and just not interesting so you can put this with outfits that are a little bit nicer so i put this with my faux leather pants my black cashmere turtleneck and some loafers i could do an ankle boot if i wanted to but i wanted to style with this with the loafers and i absolutely loved this coat with it i thought it blended really well it actually made the coat look a little bit dressier with the shape of the coat it's very flattering because again this cinches in the waist and it is adjustable so if you don't want it to cinch as much it doesn't have to but this coat looks good worn open it looks good worn closed and i don't think that a coat like this is very limited other than with really dressy items that it doesn't complement like that first outfit. The, the hood is removable as well, so you don't have to wear the hood, which is pretty awesome. But I wanted to show you the faux leather outfit because I thought that was a good way to layer over something a little bit nicer. And then I wanted to show you this over, of course, a sweatshirt, leggings, and sneakers because that is how I would wear this most of the time with the more casual outfit. I even have the belt bag across my chest and I thought this was a perfect way to bundle up and look warm for the winter and the outfit just made sense. So now for the pink puffer coat, which I do have to say that none of us wanna look like the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, do we? I certainly don't. So when you are wearing a puffer coat, it's okay that it's puffy just style it well because this is not something that you can just throw on with any outfit in your closet it really needs to be very casual and the stuff that you put underneath it can't be too bulky because it really needs it, it has all the bulk in itself so something thinner underneath because this is going to be really warm for you anyway but this one i loved my husband actually bought me this for christmas and the reason why i loved it is because it comes in in the waist so a lot of puffer jackets are really straight down for women and i think if you can just get a little bit of curvature and this would go on any body shape and it just gives the illusion that you have some curves and it's really nice on and so I loved this with my athleisure looks, with my leggings, my sneakers, and that sweatshirt again. I do not love it with dressier options. You can see here with the midi skirt, even though there's pink in that midi skirt, that this is just not a good option. And with the puffy skirt and the puffy top half, it's just not a very nice look. I also put this on over the outfit that I have on in this video. And with it zipped up, I think it's okay, but I would probably not choose this coat if I was going somewhere. So if you have a puffer coat, it's okay, like I said, to have another option to layer if you're going somewhere a little bit nicer. But this is fun. It's great if you have a lot of really casual things. If you are just wearing jeans, ankle boots, and maybe a sweatshirt that's not super thick, that would definitely work as well. You don't have to 
mainly do athleisure outfits with this, but I do think it goes best with those. And that's kind of what this video is all about is what do these coats look best with? But I don't want you to spend a whole lot of money on coats and have multiple coats for every different style outfit. Find one that's really versatile for your wardrobe. Think about some of these styles that I have talked about. I will link these below if you want to check them out. And you know, if you have any questions about any of these, please let me know. And I will have a review video coming on some of these just so uh, you can know a little bit more about some of these styles. And they were very inexpensive and from Amazon, which I don't normally do, but I really actually liked these and wanted to check them out. So definitely check out that video. Check out the video coming on a midi skirt and then on chunky loafers like you have seen in this video. And I hope you enjoy all of those. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your feedback you guys have given me in the past few weeks and you're helping me determine what I need to do in this coming year. And I'll definitely get back to you on the photos that I asked you about in the last video. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I will link that video here so you can click on it and check it out. But more about that is coming soon. So thank you guys again for watching. Love your neighbor, be kind, and I will talk to you next time.